everyone, today's video is a simple guide into how split toning works and how you can use it to edit your images. So split toning is when you individually add a solid color to the highlights and the shadows of your photo. Split toning is a great way to be able to stylize your image and also make a set of images look cohesive with your editing. So we're gonna jump into Lightroom now and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use split toning. You can find split toning in the develop module in Lightroom, just underneath HSL and above detail. So here we have our split toning tool. So let me show you what it can do really simply. If we pull up the saturation on the highlights, you can see that it's adding this color to the whites and highlights of our image. Once you pull up the saturation, you can also move around the hue to change the color that it's applying to your photo. So now let's bring up the saturation of our shadows and as you can see, it's affecting the darker parts of our image. If you're not feeling confident enough to use the hue slider, Lightroom also has some pre-made presets with split toning that you can choose from and I find that these work really well sometimes for some images. On the other hand, if you want super full control over what color you're choosing, you can also use the color wheel or color rectangle to pick what hue and saturation you have for your split toning. So how can you actually use split toning to edit your images? So I'm gonna take this photo here for example, which I want to accentuate the blue color of the water here. So what I'm going to do is bring up the saturation of the highlights and then move the hue into like this aqua blue kind of color. And as you can see, that's really brought out that water in the background. To counter the cool tones that are now in the overall image, I'm going to bring up the saturation of the shadows and move the hue into like the red kind of orange area just to bring some life back into our model's skin tone. So here is a little before and after of what that looks like. I personally like to keep my highlights and shadows on opposite sides of the spectrum, so if I use a warm color for the highlights, I like to use a cooler color for the shadows. You can choose really fun colors if you want to give your image a more cross-processed look, or you can go for something like yellow highlights and a more blue or purpley shadow to make your image look a little bit more vintage or give it a cinematic feel as well. You can also choose not to go with opposite colors for the highlights and shadows and simply use just warm colors or just cool colors. For this image, I feel like the warmer colors really suit this as it brings out that summery vibe in this photo. You can also choose to go a little bit more minimum while you're editing and only add one color to the highlights and not touch the shadows or only have a color in the shadows and not touch the highlights. Last but not least, I wanted to explain the balance tool for you guys. So let's just add some colors to this image. I think just about there. So as I mentioned, the highlights affects the whites and highlights of your images, and the shadows affects the shadows and blacks of your images. The balance tool basically determines how much of those shadows and whites the colors are affecting. So if we pull the balance slider down, you'll start seeing that the blue shadows are affecting more and more of the image because they start to bleed into the highlights. If we pull the balance slider up, you'll start seeing that our yellow highlights is affecting more of the image as it does the opposite opposite and starts bleeding more into the shadows. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comments if there's any other Lightroom tools or features that you would like me to make a video about. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!